Hey guys, it's Bethany Schneider here, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Gossip Girl. Last time where we left off, we were going to one of Blair's hottest parties ever, until Blake decided to, 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 hurt, to hurt someone. Well, almost. Well, good thing that everybody stepped in to stop Chuck before he did anything else, so Gina's okay, and she's not hurting, she's not gonna get hurt at all, period, which is good. So, yeah, as of recently, or like yesterday, I mean yesterday today, I'm starting to exercise. Finally, I'm gonna lose some weight here, because I really need to do that. So my mom and I are both doing it together, so so that's fun. And hopefully things will go well by a month or so. So enough about life. Let's talk let's go ahead and pick our guy, which is Leon. Because I know a lot of people in the comments said they said pick Leon, so I hope th I hope things go well with this guy. Good lord. So I don't know at all. <laughs> Yes, I confirmed this. Because I forgot to like... I forgot to like actually upload the original video to it, to YouTube, so I kinda, so I, I'm doing this over again. Basically. Episode one, new guy. Summer vacation is finally here. School may be out, but there's still a, there's still as just as many parties and events going on as ever. Today I am accompanied by Serena to a white party. Like its namesake, the dress code is all white. The elegant mansion hosting the party is surrounded by greenery with the, with a pool just as lavish lavishing in the in the inner courtyard. Everyone looks so polished in their white outfits holding drinks in one hand as they uh, chat amongst themselves. This is the real deal, huh? I say to Serena so I so as I scan the room. All my usual classmate all my usual classmate but classmates, but I also see some parents. The place is definitely definitely has that high society kind of vibe. Everyone looks like they just walked off of a magazine page. I guess you could say that. It's become a tradition around here. You're looking awfully prim today. Maybe it's the dress? It's it's the dress? Are you saying that I usually don't? Serena asked with a laugh. Of course not. You always look amazing. In that case, I appreciate the compliment. You're looking pretty radiant yourself. We both laughed and then suddenly our phones go off. Uh-oh. Who could that be? So, okay, nice. Poor roulette, nah, I'll do that all another time. So I have no idea how to work that. So continue. It's from Gossip Girl. Oh my God. Serena lets out a small gasp. She stares at the screen with her mouth open. Is it- is it really that big of a deal? I admit, I'm a little curious and I look down at my phone. Hmm. Interesting. Spotted. The Dark Knight is back in town. Could this be an eye of the storm? Or maybe just a giant black hole? Either way, there's one thing we know for, for sure. The Upper sea East Side is about to get crazy. What is that supposed to mean? Ooh, wait, who's the Dark Knight? Apparently not anyone I know. Hey, Serena, who's this Dark Knight guy? I... An unreadable smile reaches her lips. I'm sure you'll run into him, into him soon enough. Anyway, how about another drink? Sure. Why is she being so secretive? I'm a little suspicious of Serena's vague answer. But I decided to focus on having a good time and at the party instead. At this party, it's a great place for people watching. It would be pretty embarrassing if I got caught staring, though. 
I'd move over, 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 over to a nearby wall to get a better view of the room. Then suddenly, there's a loud splash. Oh no! Someone fell into the pool! Oh gosh! Um, uh, the, I spin around to see what's going on. Oh jeez. Um, does anyone have a life preserver? Does everybody know the basic ways to... <sighs> mouth-to-mouth contact, the kiss of life? That stuff in case somebody accidentally just chokes on water or something like that. I don't know. Safety precautions, people. And stay safe around the pools this summer, because it's, it's pretty crazy. Especially in the hot heat right now. It's, it's bad. But most importantly, stay safe and wear floaties. Lots of floaties if you're a kid or something like that. So, here we go. Suddenly, everyone near the poolside is in, a, is in an uproar. It looks like someone fell into the pool. I hope they're okay. I walk over to take a look. I, as I get a closer, well, closer, as I get closer, my heart skips a beat. There's a really hot guy in the middle of the pool. He runs his hands through his wet black hair with an irritated look on his face. He's got a smart-looking almond, almond-shaped eyes, and his face is really handsome. And somehow, he's managing to look pretty sophisticated, despite the fact he's completely drenched. Damn. Um, Blair's high-pitched voice snaps me out of my daze. Excuse me? Did you just push me? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play games! You were right behind me! I could feel you shoving me! Meh, 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 little brat. Blair argues with somebody nearby. It seems someone tried to push her into the pool, and she has a lot of enemies here, so it's not hard to see how that could happen. So that means that guy ended up taking the fall for her instead? My eyes travel back and forth between Blair and the guy in the pool. Even though he's the one that got wet, he stays quiet without even glancing over at Blair. With the same expressionless look, he wipes the water from his face and begins walking towards the poolside. Gosh, get, get, the, what, where's the reaction from him? I, it's no good to be emotion, expressionless, I don't know. Everyone seems astounded into silence. Why are they just staring at him like this? Something tells me there's something's up. There's something up. Why isn't anyone giving him a hand? You know what? They're just kind of like in a daze of what's going on. They can't even... I don't know. What? No! I don't want that. I get... I get that. I kind of want to continue, please. I know. Later. Okay, next. I'll figure out what all this this stuff is about later. I'm just trying to get through this story. Usually someone would rush over and lend him a helping hand or bring a towel. Like, yeah, wh- what? What does... Why? Why would they just be like... That's... In reality, someone would at least, like be like, oh crap, I got towels, I'll help you out, and dry, help them dry off or something like that, or let them dry themselves, I don't know, but nobody should just, just stare, <laughs> it's, it's weird, I don't understand, and it's kind of, I guess rude, I don't know, but you, but then again, yes, that's what we usually would, what you usually would do in reality, but everyone just stares on keeping their distance. I can't just ignore him. Duh. Doing nothing feel doing nothing feels wrong, so I make my way forward. Yeah, absolutely do that. I'll ask if he's alright. I don't need Blair's help. No. <laughs> Screw Blair. She's as you could tell from the past couple episodes, she left me behind. She left me in a in a an abandoned street. Yeah, I'm still kinda holding on to that, but still that's not cool. I walk, it o- I walk over to the edge of the pool. Hey, 
are you all right? Even at the sound of my voice, he doesn't look up. Seriously? <sighs> Dude, I'm talking to you. It's like he can't hear me or see me. Basically ignoring me. I, I could start calling out to him again, but I he hesitate. Something seems off about this guy. Yeah, um... It's like he's keeping something behind, behind his back. I don't understand. His expressionless face doesn't give anything away. Nor does it does he seem to be be at all bothered by the soaking wet his soaking wet clothes. What is he thinking, or is he even thinking anything at all? I get a towel from one of the servers and hold it out to him. Here. He finally glances over my way. Does he take the towel? Please tell me you take the towel and dry off. Yay, that was a good choice. I picked this answer before and I was like, oh yeah. That was really good there. All right, let's continue. When did I, did I just do that again? Whoops. Anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> um. Eh, he is silent. He is silent. Why? He stares at the towel, but doesn't make any movement to take. Make doesn't make any movement to take it. Take the dang towel. Consider it my thank you for just help at least giving you a hand, please. It makes me upset. Why? Then he turns around and begins to walk off. You don't take the damn towel. Why don't, why didn't you take the damn towel? Take the towel. Ugh. I doubt calling out to him will make a difference, so I just watch him go. Yeah, whatever. He's, his mind's wandering off somewhere else. Dang it. Is he really all right? I look down at my dress. Somehow he managed to get water on me as well, and now I'm my and now a good part of my dress is wet too. Dang it! Chuck approaches me with a smart marmy grin plastered on his face. Oh my god! Wish it been wish it been that been you that fell instead. With a white dress like that, it had been a good show. You're such a pervert! You're such a pervert! Okay, get out. What a sleaze ball! I give him a disgusted look. He's mer he merely shrugs. Yeah, you better shrug. I try to find another towel and see Serena walking towards me. Hey, Deborah, are you okay? I brought another dress, so why don't you go take go inside and change? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I can't. Can I even fit in fit into Serena's dress? Despite my worries, I step inside the building. At the same moment, Mark comes up and joins Serena. I can hear bits and pieces from their conversation drift from the, from drift in from outside. You knew Leon was going to be here all along, didn't you? Of course not. If I'd known, I would have told you. He didn't even tell me we're best friends. I can't make anything out after that. Best friends? Hmm. To be continued. Wow. And I still don't know what happens on to that point. Hmm. But luckily, the chapter has been completed. All right. Hmm, let's see. Since we're done with all of those, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here and continue with the next part. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm sorry if I wasn't as enthousi enthusiastic or very more proactive with my commentary. I was just a little bit tired from all that exercising stuff, but Eventually, I'll get used to this this um, exercise stuff in a month, but for now, 
it's gonna hurt a little bit. But anyway, despite that, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!